back everyone here we are uh, episode 12 of the nord male barbarian Torin. Uh, we're going to go ahead and clear out these uh bandits for the for the jarl of falkreath so uh let's go lydia we're off charging through the dragons breathing fire in the sky vampires brace So here we go. It's kind of gray cloud cover. It's fall grief. Lots of rain. So yeah, last week was uh, New Year's. So <laughs> sorry, folks. Uh, didn't feel like doing a video on New Year's Eve. But here we are in the new year, 2015. We're going to go ahead and uh, truck along and get some Skyrim action in. Did some serious cleanup of my computer recently. Hoping that that uh, helps out some of the issues I've had. At least keep it together long enough. My, I, unfortunately, my computer keeps going to blue screen recently, so pretty soon we're going to have to get a new one, I believe. Yeah. Really don't want to have a whole lot to do with this thing. We'll just keep on trying. Roadside ruins. See, look. We'll just keep on going. Running through the woods. You still back there, Lids? Look at her run. There we go. Good job. She's keeping up. That's all new. Do it. it it's, I've been impressed this playthrough with Lydia. She has been sticking through two things. There's a. What's this? Clathriel's camp. That's a dead spider. Oh. Oh, I know. She, she's one of those, uh, one of these NPCs. Yes. Uh, nice weather we're having. I'm sorry, do I know you? I do. It's very peaceful. Sometimes I pass through there to borrow wood from Hurt and Hearn. They're vampires. Well, maybe we should hunt them down. But then I'll have to chop my own wood. Mother says that's not allowed. What are you doing out here in the wilderness? I'm making camp. Oh, she's gonna annoy me. Do you live in these woods? No. I didn't intend to, anyway. Where do you normally live? I'm from Solitude. Maybe, so maybe you can tell me what an oblivion a winking skeever is. If his bones the winking skeever. Now that brings back memories. Lisette used to love performing there. She's a friend. You know Lisette? Of course. She'd probably tell you I used to follow her around like a dog. Which isn't exactly true. I don't bark or, or pee on the rug. Sometimes I hung around because the boys loved her. Everyone did. She was always so good with people. It made things easier for me. If you're from Fraudu, what brought you to Falkreath? That's a long story. I came to Falkreath on a rumor, and now... Now... I'm actually lost. In more ways than one. What do you mean, you're lost in more ways than one? I'd rather not. It's somewhat private, and besides, I'm not much for words. Unless you tell me, I can't help you, but you have to provide more details. I... I'm sorry. It's been so long and I've almost lost all hope. Come on, tell me what's bothering me. It was many months ago, during the burning of King Olaf. A lot of travelers came to the Skeever after the festival. I overheard three strangers talking. Three men from three separate holds. All had passed through this forest, all with a similar story. Mother always said, once is a fluke, twice is a coincidence. Three times meant a rumor was worth your ear. So what's the rumor? One of the men said he saw a werewolf. Another claimed it was a slode. The third said it was a naga. 
They didn't agree on much, but whatever it was, it used to be a woman. A wood elf. Like me. Lisette said it was the ale talking. She could always see through men's lies, so maybe she was right. But if there's a chance, I won't leave. I can't. This wood elf, do you know her by chance? Sh she's my mother. What makes you think she's here? She often came to this forest. She loved how green the pines were, how lush the grass was. How, if you listen closely to the chorus of insects, you could almost make out the words. And how the forest here couldn't be more different, yet somehow reminded her so much of Valen Wood. This transformation of travelers described, what is it? My mother told me that Bosma, we have the power to transform into beasts that are not of this world. If there's a chance that this thing was, is my mother, maybe I can help her, reach her somehow. How long has she been gone? To be honest, I've lost track of the days. I'm sorry, I'll do my best to look out for her. Thank you. What about your father? I never knew him. Sometimes, I think Mother chose solitude because it would be the last place he'd look for us. Tell me about your mother. She was a fiery woman. Nothing like me. Yet she could be graceful when she wanted to. And kind when I needed her to. She loved to tell me stories about Valenwood. About cities that walked and the creatures that rode them. She said there were beetles the size of horse carts and plants so colourful they put the aurora to shame. She loved Valenwood so much. I, I almost take comfort in thinking she found a way back. Do you get many travellers in these parts? None that bothered to stop. Although... There was that Nord from Riften who spent the night. Spent the night? Interesting. Oh, no, nothing like that. He was a wanderer that didn't know heads from tails. I think his name was... Ha Hagrani? Or something close to that. Did this Nord have any good stories to tell? He did. But I'm warning you, you won't like how I tell it. You know what, folks, I'm just going to go ahead and leave this. I'm going to move off for now. Because that's boring in terms of a video. To be interesting to, to play through, but not for... Hi, everybody. Ooh, uh, Spriggins. We'll, we'll bypass the Spriggins. How about that? Let the creatures of the woods just do their thing. little stream, hoppy hop. But are you still back there? Crap. I shall catch up. There's a lot of I have so many mods in now, I've, I've kind of lost track of what's what. But I don't think... Yeah. We'll keep going this way. I think this is just a hunter's cabin up here. This is probably part of the original game. Yeah, this is just a hunter's cabin. And we're off. Where are we going to again? We are headed to Bal Gulch Mine. Okay. So, run, 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 run. Cross country. 10:30 at night. Oh, good. We're out of the city, which means because we are above the level that the Dawn Guard has started, which means nighttime attacks by. Oh. I'll take a birthday. Thank you. Oh. No. 
Well, we need to cut up. Great. Anyway, you get nighttime attacks by vampires if you're in the cities. So, uh, we'll avoid that at the moment. Pretty soon, I think I'm going to need to turn on a new, uh, where am I going? This way. Frostfall, just so I have my the ability to use a tent. Hi, Wolfies. That so we can do some more uh, smithing later. All that epic music for a couple wolves. <laughs> run, 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 run. I have to go so far. I just gotta make a deal with guys on the other side of his hole. It's a mushroom ring. That's awesome. Hey, bunny. Am I look at my map? Where am I? Oh crap! I went too far. Here we go. No. I'm confused. Oh, I know what I did. Oh, great. Now it's dark, raining. There's the road I was looking for. Goodness for quest markers. All right, so here we go. Lydia, catch up. Here you come. All right, so just a couple of bandits, and it's raining. So let's just charge in, get them bolding. What do you think? That's what I thought. You're bloodthirsty. Just a couple wet people out here. Time to end this little game. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Damn, down he went. Good job. Because I missed like a weasel. Get off my spear. All right, that's two, three. We're good. What do you guys got over here? Anything worth having? Wolf Claymore, huh? Padded fur mantle, we'll take that. Wolf Claymore does even more damage than my Nordic Spear. I'm gonna stick with my spear for now. And here we go. Time to take care of the band, the bandit chief. Knock, knock. Anybody home? Just go ahead and use some of this fun stuff here. We'll have a 
here. Come on down, Lydia. We got somebody to take care there. of. Yep. Damn you. And good night. What you got? Key? Do I have a breastplate? Gold? Lights? Ooh. Look at all this orcish ore, huh? What am I wearing for a helmet now? I got a barbarian helmet on? Uh, I have a skilled helmet, Nord Light Spectacle. That will stick with the original look. I like that. All right. So there's a mine. We're not going to bore you guys with... Oh, and a book. We're not going to bore you guys with doing a bunch of... Uh, mining at the moment. How much money have I got? Oh, <laughs> plenty. Plenty for what I'm about to do. So, look at that. Money, major illusion, necklace of health. Heck yeah. My, what am I wearing for a necklace now? Anything? Amulets. I'm not. Well, that'll be handy. All right, Lydia. We're all good here. Check out what's all about. Here we go. Oh, that carries a little ch chest. Amulet of Mara. Money, lock picks. It's a pretty good hole. Hole. Like a goat roost. Fix that here in just a second. Get some heat from the smelter. We'll sell that. Take that. I'll keep my barbarian helmet. Thank you very much. I'll keep that. Keep that. There we go. One, two, three. We'll keep the claymore and sell it. Silver. We got silver ore. Keep, make that one to one. Make that one into one. Make that one into one. Yep, we're good now. Now we got stuff to sell. Getting ourselves about 10 pounds. Oop. Hey, we want that salt pile. Give it here. Or you have fine iron swords and gold will take that. Lockpick, battle axe, we don't need it. go. Thor remembered how to do his... Yeah, picked up a lot. Use one, gain three. Oh, we'll take those orcish arrows. Thank you very much. And there's a potion of juice shot. Other strips. Potion of healing. Yeah. 
Oh, you got anything worth having? I doubt it. A little bit of money. And a Nord Mead. Uh, let's get uh, some sleep so we don't mess with those guys. Quit raining. So I'll take down here. We'll get some quick rest. There we go. Yeah, so knock this bit out here real fast. And time to wake up. Look at my faithful house Carl waiting there already. Hope she got some sleep. going to do to save ourselves some time we're just going to go ahead and fast travel back folks well that's an interesting black screen right there got some smoke dangling in the air see what level we are. Oh, look. We figured out where we're at now. We're going to port back into the, to the Yarl. Oh, lovely, 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 lovely. This is good. He's going to reward us for our service, and then he's even going to let us buy I some property. The Jarl, whoever that might be. Yes. So what is it that you want? Um. Let's see. I've killed the leader of Bal Gulch Mine. What do you think? Teach them to stop paying me. Here, you deserve a reward for your service. Why? Thank you. You know what? I like you. You're not afraid to get your hands dirty. I hereby grant you permission to purchase property in Falkreath Hold. Talk to my steward if you're interested. Is there there is room need? in my court for a new thane. It's an honorary title mainly, but there are a few perks someone like you could make use of. I imagine. However, I could only grant the title to someone who is known throughout my hold. You help my people, and I'll make you my thane. It'd be an On honor. your way then. Also because he gives me Come extra and see stuff. me again sometime. Oh, I don't you run away from me. Keep going. Keep going. I'm going to follow you. I'm not looking up your skirt. I'm the steward here. I serve under Jarl Sidgear and Jarl Dengear before him. Well, good. Sidgear can sometimes act too quickly, but he does listen to Helvert and I. I'd like to purchase a house. There's no house available, but I could sell you a fine piece of land where you could build your own house. Well, it's pretty enough down here. Sure, why not? I'll take it for 5,000 gold. You won't regret it. Here's the title to your steading. Follow the road east from Falkreath, then north at the crossroads. Turn left just past Pine Watch. Like I know where Pine Watch is, but okay. I'm looking for work. Any leads? The Jarl has put out a bounty on some bandits. Here, take a look at this decree for details. Okay, I can do killing ba bandits. May wisdom forever light your path. All right, first of all, let's see if we can't do any disenchantment. We can axle right one, we're not gonna do. Necklace of health, we're not gonna take that off for now. We like that. We have some of those. Useful. See, I'm a big fan of going ahead and making a little extra money off of nonsense. Not to mention we'll grind ourselves up here some. Good. Here, we'll take that. I'm 
pretty sure we do one more thing, we'll be good. Look at that. Yep. Fortify. I'm the steward here. I serve under so Jarl Sidgir and Jarl Dengir before him. Look at that. And we'll go ahead and upgrade ourselves real quick. So I have 170 versus. Uh, we need to bump stamina, folks. Uh, let me see. Perks to increase. Anything can we do over here? Smithing is at a 36. Heavy armor. Lock. Two handed. Haven't decided if I want to actually specialize in anything. One handed. Archer. Ooh, archery. Oh, we're good as we want to be there. I bet here we're about as good as we're going to get. Yep. Sneak. So, what do you think, folks? Sneak or one handed? I think we're gonna go with sneak since. We have probably a two-handed fighter. Here can sometimes act too quickly, but he does listen to help. How are we doing on wait? Oh, we need to see. and I, there's just one more war in a long line. Did you see a hound on the road? Fine, strong creature that's been wandering near town. Nope, didn't see There's one out on the road. I can't afford to chase him down, but I could use a fierce, loyal beast to keep me company. If you were willing to retrieve him for me, I'd give you some fresh meat to attract him out on the road. I could be convinced to catch him. Oh, it's smart to demand something up front. Some gold now, and some when I have my dog. Here's the meat. Great. Yeah, Steel's good, stuff. but loyalty's better. I'm loyal to Dengir first, and the Empire second. Take a look. Right, so we're gonna sell the dagger, the other dagger. Might hang on to that for now. You can have the Orcish Battle Axe. The other dagger. You can have that. Yeah. Oh wow, I already have that. Hang on that. And that, and that, and that. We'll save our smithing stuff for ourselves. See me at my forge if you need arms or armor. Well, let's see. All right, so let's go take a look at our piece of land. Is that where we're looking to? Yep. Let's go visit our piece of our property. Where am I at money-wise now? Look, I can still have 7,600 gold. All right. Charge. And this will be the last thing we'll do today. We're going to run out here and find our property. And that's pretty much all we're going to do on film today. Uh, shouldn't be too far. It shouldn't be too hard to get there either. All right, a little bit of, little bit of thistle branch. She said east and turn north at the crossroads. We've got some contraption up here. Oh, really? Over here. Whoa. Hey. Just, uh... Down you go. Next contestant at the prices. Oh, split your belly like an old woman. I don't think so. Lydia, get up off the ground. Take your arrows. What do you think? Search. Took care. I'll take your arrows too. And that will just leave your bodies here to uh, 
warn everyone. Huh. Cut, cut cross lots. She said turn left. I'm guessing that this building must be Pine Watch since there's an actual building here. Yep. And up and over. Boy, I have so many arrows. So many iron arrows. And look. Little path over here to my steading. So this is lovely. Lakeview Manor. This is my plot of land. This has got like the best view of all of the uh, properties. Got this view of the lake. You, you get this necromancer down here, but you just take care of him later. It's okay. But this is just beautiful. And yeah, I added the high res texture packs in. Hello, Skyrim. All right. Well, that'll do it for this week. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, go ahead and give that click on that like or that subscribe button and we'll be happy to have you around more. Um, drop a comment. Let me know what you're thinking, what you'd like to see me do. You know, maybe uh, if, you've, if you've played Skyrim before, you'd like to see me go do a particular quest or something. Until then, here I am at my new home. Go ahead and take my helmet off. Oh, now I'm mad. Oh, that's... That's why I was mad. There, now I'm all happy again. All right, folks, have a good, <laughs> have a good week, and we'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.